Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a tie-dye video and I have this kit from Target and the brand is Mondo Llama and I think it's pretty new. Um, it comes with eight different dye bottles, three or 40 rubber bands, three sets of gloves, um, three aprons, one drop cloth, and one dropper. And this was all for $10 and like i said before it's from target and i think that was a pretty good deal because at michael's i've seen so many that were for so much more than that so here are the things that i will be tie-dyeing just a plain white shirt some socks that are adidas a white scrunchie and a towel so this towel does have bees on it and I found this in my closet or a closet because it was kind of white I guess. It's kind of yellow but it's okay. So here I am. I'm going to open up the package now or the box and I'm just struggling a little bit with the tape. I probably should have brought some scissors and I am doing this outside because I don't want it to get all messy inside. So... I had to constantly keep running back and forth inside, but it's okay. It's probably easier that I did it outside. So I'm just opening this up right now. And all of the stuff that I am tie-dyeing is mostly white. And I bought this shirt and then the rest I just found laying around in my house. So, because the box is that it could tie-dye eight objects up to eight. So I'm doing four. So here's the box. I finally got it open and these are all the colors. They look really nice because they're in rainbow order. So it comes with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then like a teal, like a dark teal, pink, and purple. So I don't know why the purple and the pink are switched. I'm just realizing that right now. I don't know if they packaged it wrong or if they did that on purpose. I think they probably did that wrong, but it's okay. So here is how it comes when you open it. So it comes with eight different colors. And then, like I said before, it comes with three aprons, three sets of gloves, and then a drop cloth, and then a dropper, and then instructions. So the instructions show you how to make the different designs, I guess. So. You could choose from there, or you can make your own. And then in this bag is the rest of the stuff. The rubber bands. And then, I think they messed up with this too. They gave me two droppers instead of just one. So, I guess I have two now. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what you're supposed to use them for, so if you guys know, please comment down under the discussion tab through my channel page because I have no idea what they're for, and I didn't use them at all in this video. So, I don't know. So, right now I'm going to be putting, or right now I'm just going to set the drop cloth up, and then I'm going to put on the apron just so I don't get my clothes dirty. Um... I don't know, everything kind of looked the same because they're all like that plasticky material. So I was just trying to figure out which thing was which. But this one right here was the drop cloth. And then the next thing was the apron. Okay, so I put my apron on and I'm just moving everything out of the way so I could lay out the drop cloth. And the drop cloth was pretty big, so I had to get my brother to help me uh, lay it out because... There was also wind and stuff, but you can kind of see how big it is. It doesn't fully fit in the frame, but that's okay. So I'm just reading through the instructions, and the first step is to wet all of the um, things that you're dyeing, I guess. So I'm just wetting everything under the sink, and this is inside now. 
and I'm just um wetting it and then just like wringing it out so it's not like soaking wet but it is wet so here are the dye bottles so the next step was to put the um put some water all the way up to the top of the bottle and then shake it up so I'm doing this one right now this is the red and I'm just filling that one up with water all the way to like that it says the bottleneck so the bottleneck and then um once you do that you screw on the cap and then you just shake it so all the powder gets mixed around and I forgot to say this before but the bottles have powder inside which gives it the color so that's what I'm doing right now and when I was doing these like my hands got kind of dirty it said to whenever like you're handling the dye always wear gloves but I didn't listen <laughs> I just did it with my bare hands um so some of them kind of overfilled a little bit but that's okay and then the instructions also said that if it's too dark you can add it to you can add more water into another bottle uh, I just left it like this because I figured that once I dye it and stuff, when I wash it, all the colors, or the color might fall out, so it might be kind of dark, or it might turn lighter later, so I just left it like this, and the powder was kind of sticking to the bottom, so you kind of have to uh, tap it and like push it into the mixture and then shake it up, but that's how that one turned out, and now I'm going to do the rest of them. Okay, so now I finished um, adding the water to the rest of them, and the pink and the purple is still switched, so I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. And now I'm going to go back outside and start. Okay, so here I am outside, and I decided to do the towel first, uh, just because I felt like it was kind of like an easier one to start with. It's kind of like the t-shirt, so it's kind of easy and stuff. So I'm just rubber banding it right now, and the design that I decided to do was the spiral one. So it says to just spiral it up, like twist it, and then rubber band it into the sections, however many sections you want. So I did eight sections, one for each color. So I am doing the rainbow. And I went ahead, put the gloves on finally, and I just started to go in with all of the colors. And I'm sorry for the lighting. This is outside, like I said before, so you will see my shadow right here. Um, I'm just putting in all the colors, and I have tie-dyed before, um, at, like, parties and stuff, but this is, like, the first time I've actually, like, bought my own kit and supplies and done it myself like this, uh, and I'm just, so I kind of know what to do, so I wasn't, because the instructions, if you're, if this is your first time tie-dyeing, I would say that you might need to Google some things. I don't know, for me, I didn't really look at the instructions too much, just because I kind of already knew. Um, but now that I finished with this, I go ahead and put it into a Ziploc bag. And it says to leave it in there for six to eight hours. Um, the longer, the better, because the dye can soak in to the um, fabric or like whatever you're using. And um, so for this one, I there would be more color in there, I guess. Um, but now I moved on to the scrunchie, and I decide I decided to do like the stripe type of dye. So I'm going to do the pur a purple, pink, and blue color for this. And right now, or right here, I personally thought that I did way too much purple, but you'll see what happens to that later. So now I'm going on to the socks. And I wanted to do this crumple tie-dye where there's some white. Um, so it kind of looks like polka dot kind of pattern. I don't know. So I'm rubber banding, I'm rubber banding this one up and it's kind of random, I guess. Okay, and right here is when I put on my glove and then this happened. This one has six fingers. <laughs> I literally poked my hand. <laughs> Whoops, I guess not even this glove. <laughs> so after that happened, I decided to use the glove still. Um, so the colors I chose for this one was pink, 
uh, green and yellow. And I'm just doing this in that like crumple tie-dye pattern that I said before. And I guess we'll just see how this one turns out too. <laughs> so I'm just putting them into the bags and then I'm moving on to the t-shirt, which is the final one. And for this one, I wanted it to be also the crumple look, I guess, because I already did the tie-dye spiral one on a t-shirt before and the striped one. So right now I, or I finished band, rubber banding it and now I'm going to go in with the colors and the colors that I chose was all of them. <laughs> so I know this from experience or like not from experience, but like what people have said before. Um, it's like if you put too many of like different colors and too much of them, then it becomes to get muddy and like brown and stuff. So I was trying not to do that. Uh, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> so here's um, how much dye I have left from doing those four. So there's still a lot, but I did have to throw them out because it said to use it within 45 minutes. So I actually waited 22 hours after, which was a little bit over, but that's okay. They said the longer the better. So now I'm going on to step six, which says rinse well with water um, until all the dye comes out. Um, like all the excess dye. So here is the scrunchie. So I thought I used too much purple. Um, and you can't even see any of the blue. And like there's very little pink. Um, but here I am. I'm going to rinse it out. And this is what happens. So basically all of the purple comes out. And the pink. And what's left is the blue, which was kind of weird because that's the thing that you couldn't see when I was dyeing. Um, so I just let it sit under the water for a little bit to rinse out all the dye. And then I took off the bands and I wrung out all the water. And it's kind of weird because it's like, it looks cool, but it's not what I expected. <laughs> Okay, so like I said before, I'm just going to take off the bands, wring it out, and that's how it looks up there. And now I'm doing the um, socks, and I'm just taking the bands off first, actually, and then I'm going to rinse it under the water and stuff. And these kind of turned out as expected, but I will show you guys again later how they turn out. So now I'm just doing the other sock. <laughs> Okay, so now that I finished with this um, sock, I'm going to go on to the towel. And for the towel, um, I used a lot more dye just because it's also a bigger uh, item, I guess, that I had to dye. So there was a lot of dye in this one. And it took me a while to make it to where the water was clear. Um, in fact, I didn't even do it for that long. I kind of just went till it was kind of clear. Um, so I didn't wring it out fully, and, uh, yeah, it took a while. Okay, so now on to the shirt. Um, I used a lot of dye on this one, too, and it took me a long time as well to... Uh, to wring out all the dye and, um, yeah. So I just had to keep squeezing it and, um, running it under the water and squeezing it and doing that for a long time until the water was pretty much clear. Um, like I said before, it did take me a long time, so my hands are getting kind of tired. So I didn't go all the way till where it was, like, out. So the next step to, said to put it in the washer, and that's what I did. I went ahead and put the towel, um, the t-shirt, and the pair of socks there. And I decided not to put the scrunchie there or inside because I didn't want it to get like darker. I kind of liked it how it was. And they said it's okay to put things together um, if they're like about the same colors. So these ones kind of were, but the scrunchie wasn't, and I just didn't want to risk it like getting dyed. Um, a different color. So that's what I did. And then now I'm going to start the washer. And 
set to put it on to heavy. So that's what I went ahead and did, and then I started it. Okay, so I waited about 30 minutes later and I took out everything from the washer and put it into the dryer. And um, the colors were still there, it kind of looked the same, and I'll show you guys the final reveal in a minute. So I'm just moving everything into the dryer and turning it to like the energy preferred level, I guess. I don't know. That's what we usually do. So that's what I went ahead and did, and I started it and then. Um, I left it to dry. Okay, so here is the final reveal of the shirt. Didn't turn out how I thought it was going to turn out. It's okay, I guess. Not my favorite. Um, but that is how it turned out. Um, I think there's a lot of white spots. That's the only thing I don't really like about it. But other than that, it's okay. Um, the next thing is the pair of socks. These might be my favorite. I don't know. Um, I just like the colors and stuff, and I just like how it was dyed. So these might be my favorite. Um, the next thing is the scrunchie, and either the sock or this one. Actually, I think they're all my favorite except for the t-shirt. <laughs> um, but that's how the scrunchie turned out. You guys kind of already saw. And then this is the towel. Um, the towel was good. Definitely the darkest out of all them. And yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. Comment under the discussion tab if you want to see more tie dye videos. And make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.